I'm Mark Kepler, Purdue University Extension Educator here in Fulton County. I do a column for the Sentinel, and this is a, the column we had on June 20th, 2014, and it's on a disease called fire blight. Last year we had the worst year I had ever seen for a disease of fruit trees called fire blight. It is back this year, so I'm going to report the information from last year. I've been having inquiries for the past month from people who have apple and pear trees experiencing death on the twig ends. The disease is called fire blight. In the world of plants, fungus disease are the most prevalent with bacteria and viruses coming in a distant second and third. Fire blight is one of those rare bacterial diseases that can be deadly. The most commonly observed characteristic of fire blight is the shepherd's crook that develops on wilting twigs. The name fire blight aptly describes the blackened leaves characteristics of the infection found on the pear trees. The infections are more of a reddish brown on apples, the twigs are sunken and they are shriveled. This disease infects through wounds and flowers. The open blossom is a conduit for the disease to get into the twig tissue. That is the major time for the disease to infect. The bacteria then hangs around to infect more in the future. There is no cure for fire blight, however some trees can successfully be pruned. Severe damaged trees may have to be removed. Prune only in dry weather and make cuts at least 12 inches away from the site of infection and into healthy plant tissue. Dispose of all the infected material and sterilize pruning equipment between cuts by, by dipping the pruners in a 10% solution of bleach with a few drops of detergent. More on this problem can be found by coming to our office or giving our office a call at 223-3397, the Purdue Extension Office. We have some very good publications on this available on the internet and we can also email them to you, the links to those publications. So we'll help you out as much as we can with fire blight. My name is Mark Kepler, Purdue University Extension Service.